Welcome back. We're continuing to talk about a no turn on red sign many of you have told us about. Well, 3 News Now reporter Max Charlton has more on what's driving you crazy. Max. Hey James, good morning to you. When it comes to turning right on red, some areas it's okay and others it's illegal. But one problem area is frequently ignored. And for a nearby resident, he has an idea for a solution. I've been through that intersection many, many times. Tom Fennell lives nearby and he sees what most of us see. They don't look across the street to see that big sign. It's just one of those things that I know. He thinks he knows the reason why, too. The sign's too far away. And that may be why we counted car after car a couple weeks back, ignore the words, no turn on red. People don't look at the sign because they look uh, south to see if anybody's coming. And if nobody's coming, they immediately take a turn to the north. So when it comes to turning north on 72nd Street off I-80, he says something brighter may be better. As you go around town, you find an awful lot of flashing yellows. He thinks flashing yellow lights instead of the sign may be the solution. In the meantime, Omaha police telling me the sign is there to keep people safe. At any intersection where you see it, uh, a sign that denotes no turning on a red signal, that's there for a reason. But Tom Fennell is sticking with his idea. With them having those flashing yellows at all the uh, signs, people would stop, look, and turn. You don't need a sign that far away and nobody looks at it. All right, and uh, Tom has told me that recently he sees lots of people and police out there trying to catch people turning right on red when they shouldn't be. You can let me know what's driving you crazy on Facebook or on Twitter. In the studio, Max Tarleton, 3 News Now This Morning.